today i'm going to be talking about the interesting topic of feng shui how to use it to create a positive energy in the home and at the same time creating a welcoming atmosphere hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is fazati ali and i'm an interior designer who's always giving the best tips on how to make your space look stunning i also do diys and give you guys affordable ideas on how to make your own home deco pieces i also paint so do feel free to hit the subscribe button below and join the family i upload videos every other week and as often as possible i'm sorry guys i have been just a little too busy but i'm trying anyway guys let's get straight into today's video where i'll be talking about Feng Shui and this is an ancient Chinese philosophy that seeks to find balance and harmony between elements and it can be incorporated into interiors in such a way that it invites a lot of positive energy into the home. Personally this is a topic I decided to just delve into quite recently. I've been seeing a lot of topics on Feng Shui online, on YouTube and so many places so I decided to do a little bit of some digging, do some research and I got to learn a lot about this topic you know. A lot of the Feng Shui principles pretty much go hand in hand with a lot of basic interior design rules on how to create a unified and harmonious space. So what you need to understand about Feng Shui is that there is a belief that in the universe there flows both positive and negative energy. And what do you want in your life or what do you want in your interiors? You definitely want the positive energy which is called Qi. So to get positive energy flowing in your interiors, you have to follow some basic principles of Feng Shui and that's pretty much it. So Feng Shui actually consists of five elements. This is wood, earth, metal, water and fire. The actual word Feng stands for wind and Shui means water. These two elements are not only vital for human existence but also flow freely around the world. According to this ancient Chinese philosophy, you can either invite good chi into your home or obstructed from even coming into your house. So how do we invite this positive energy into our home? Well, let's get right into that. Now the first rule when it comes to incorporating Feng Shui into your home is by starting at the front door by creating an inviting appeal. Now you definitely want to create a welcoming atmosphere in the front area of your home as positive energy enters your home from the entrance door. So it is believed that the positive energy will definitely come into your home through the front door. So you want to make sure the front door feels as welcoming as possible. If possible, it is actually very important to avoid putting um, objects or things that may obstruct the front door as the positive energy might not exactly be able to come into your home and so on. Now the next simple tip you want to follow to allow positive energy to flow freely in your home is to clear the clutter. Too much mess and clutter prevents the energy from flowing into the space freely and also clutters your mind. Immediately a room is nice and cleared of clutter, you always feel some kind of peace of mind. And whenever you have a lot of clutter placed all over the place, I can assure you, you're not gonna be having peace of mind while sitting in that space. So if you want to ensure you're creating a good atmosphere in your home, Always make sure your home is clean, clear away all the unnecessary items that you do not need and make sure everything is placed away neatly. So tidy up every room in your living space and allow yourself to feel calm, comfortable and relaxed. Now another very important rule when it comes to Feng Shui is to choose appropriate colors. Now we all know colors are very important in our interiors and they have to be selected carefully so as to create beautiful, calming interiors. When it comes to Feng Shui, this is one of the most important factors and must be chosen very wisely. Color is able to boost energy, create a playful environment, diminish stress, increase confidence and so much more. The use of appropriate colors will definitely allow you to create a happy, healthy and beautiful home. So you might want to avoid or reduce the amount of dark colors that you use in a space. Now another great way to allow chi to flow in your home is to go ahead and decorate with fresh plants and flowers. Now plants and flowers are used to promote positive energy and bring good luck into your space. 
Plans create a sense of balance against the hardness of the architecture and structure of your home or office. They in themselves also emit positive energy, making them highly beneficial in the home. We all know when it comes to interiors, plants and flowers are highly recommended because not only do they make the space a lot more aesthetic, they are also able to create such a beautiful natural vibe in the home, making the air feel more fresh and the space a lot more airy. Plants symbolize wood, which is one of the basic elements of Feng Shui that symbolizes growth and vitality. Placing wood items in your space encourages personal growth. So go ahead and bring in the wood element into your interior through plants and wooden furniture pieces. While decorating your home to allow good energy to flow freely, some of the things you want to avoid are dark corners, low ceilings and also sharp pointed objects when it comes to feng shui roundness is actually preferred so avoid sharp pointed objects and a lot of dark colors as this actually create negative energy in your space Now another interesting tip that I got to learn about in Feng Shui is to always keep your toilet lid down. When it comes to this ancient philosophy, the toilet is a drain and all the good energy that comes into your home can actually leave through the toilet. So you want to always have your toilet lid down so you are able to maintain the positive energy within your home. So you're supposed to be able to keep your toilet doors closed at all times and also keep the lid down at all times. I feel like that is also something that's just quite, you know, a basic thing that everybody can do because apart from allowing the chi to keep flowing in your home, it is also quite hygienic. Another rule is to simply ensure light and air can get into your space. Air is a key component of the very meaning of Feng Shui as it also stands for the wind and it must be allowed in. A combination of both natural light and air will definitely bring in good energy into your home. So go for large windows and always allow a lot of natural light to come in during the day and at the same time ensure your windows are open to allow good aeration and also allow enough air into your interiors. Another tip is to keep work and rest areas separate. Now this majorly is going to go into the bedroom and in this space you want to avoid putting a television or computer in there. To create a restful and calming energy, try your best to avoid having too many electrical components close to your sleeping space. Having a television in your bedroom area or a place that you use to rest always becomes the focal point of the space, thus taking away from the calming energy. Now mirror placement is very very crucial when it comes to Feng Shui. Now mirrors are very important when it comes to interiors. They can be used to add aesthetics, make a space feel larger and so much more. When it comes to Feng Shui though, you want to ensure that you're placing your mirrors in the right place to enhance the positive energy. If you place a mirror right in front of your main door, they say it will reflect the good energy right back out through that door. So you want to find a place where you can hang your mirror and it won't exactly be facing the main door which is believed to be where the good energy or chi comes through into your home. Now another interesting thing I've learned about mirrors when it comes to Feng Shui is you want to avoid having it in front of your bed in the bedroom. This is because it's safe to symbolize inviting a stranger into your space. Mostly if you're a couple, you totally want to avoid this. Um, going deeper into that, I really don't know much, but that is what Feng Shui teaches. For me personally, I think the reason I wouldn't have a mirror in front of my bed is because I've always had an issue with waking up in the middle of the night and then the first thing you see is yourself on the reflection and you probably slept with your lights off so you're just gonna see a silhouette of you and I think that's just very creepy all in all. I've never thought of that as an option of having a mirror in front of the bed, no. I, would, I don't think I would be okay waking up and just seeing myself. <laughs> but yeah, so that is a rule of Feng Shui that you definitely want to think about 
if you're trying to have positive energy in the bedroom area or in the house as a whole. Now the best way to bring all the positive energy in your home is try to accessorize by bringing in all the elements of Feng Shui. So go ahead and accessorize with bamboo to represent wood, have some small rocks to represent earth, have some candles to represent fire, go ahead and have some metal lighting fixtures and chandeliers and sconces to represent metal, have an aquarium or a water fountain right outside your entrance door to represent water and so on. All these elements work together to bring in all the good chi into your home. So those are just my 10 rules when it comes to Feng Shui. There are so many other rules guys and if I touch on every single one of them, this video would be more than an hour long. Anyway, the ones I touched on today are just some of the most basic ones that each and every single one of us can easily incorporate into our interiors to create nice, calming, tranquil spaces, thus allowing us to feel all the positive energy. Anyway guys, I will touch on the other rules that I haven't talked about today, so do stay tuned for that and I may also go into, you know, how to incorporate Feng Shui in different rooms in the home, so stay tuned for that too. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, I truly hope you got to learn something. This is quite an interesting topic, so I'm also learning. Anyway, um, thank you so much, feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. I'll be truly, truly grateful. Anyway, guys, see you next week, inshallah, with another video. Love you guys so much. Bye.